Mediastinal teratomas have different treatments depending on how they manifest either before or at the time of delivery. Small to medium-sized teratomas diagnosed before birth can simply be followed and addressed after birth. For those very large teratomas that cause compression of the developing heart and compression of the developing lungs, they can lead in turn to high drops, usually based on the location and compression of the chest mass, which may require fetal intervention. We've uh, had to resect mediastinal teratomas and fetuses that have developed high drops that we felt uh, would not survive without fetal intervention. We have had cases of mediastinal teratomas that became mischief makers late in gestation, and those have been managed via the ex utero interpartum therapy approach. In that circumstance, you actually have to decompress the chest in order to put a tube in the airway. And we do that by opening the, the fetal chest and removing the tumor and then establishing the airway and uh, then dividing the umbilical cord and delivering the fetus.